Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be a super easy project. The first thing that I'm gonna do is prepare the leaf. I have a spidistra, I'm gonna use only two. I remove the stems and then I'm gonna try to make softener the spine of the leaf. So in that way, it's gonna be easier for me to get the, the shape that I'm looking for. Basically, the leaf is gonna be wrapping up the uh, oasis that it has to put inside of the base. So I'm gonna be using just two leaves for this base that is six by six, as a cylinder clear base, six by six. It's gonna take a little bit of time, but I do not get too crazy because the oasis is gonna help you to keep the leaf in the way that you want, the oasis and the water. So I'm gonna use a three quarter of a brick of oasis, it's already wet, it was the whole day in water, the day before, so that's been 24 hours. And then I'm gonna cut two small pieces to a uh, hole, so in that way it's not gonna be moving around while I'm be working with the flowers. You have to have a little bit of care in this moment because if you do too hard, the leaf is gonna move down too much. But uh, uh, if you see something that probably is not good, don't worry because the flower is gonna help you to cover those area. Um, so the, after I put the water, I'm gonna start working with the hydrangeas. As you can see, the hydrangeas has hints of green color among the flowers. That's me that is fresh. Once the hydrangeas bloom totally, it's gonna be pink. So um, also, I'm telling you this because everybody's telling me, are you using artificial hydrangeas because they don't last longer? Well, if you buy fresh and you treat it in the way that it has to be, it's gonna last longer. So I put in water the day before. I'm older fresh, that means, that's why you are looking those uh, green spots and the flowers. So the oasis and the flower were both were in water 24 hours. So you don't have to be worried about it. And also you have to keep adding water because they are gonna drink the water that you have in the base. So I put three pink and I'm gonna use now two uh, emerald green hydrangeas. Remember, all these are fresh. Um, now I'm gonna use four blush pink roses that are really uh, beautiful roses, they smell amazing. I'm gonna need only four of them. So every time that I finish with one kind of flowers, I turn around the arrangement to know if uh, there is something else that I have to put on or to visualize uh, where I have to put the next flowers. I do not remove the leaf on all of the flowers. I just keep a few of them as I did with the hydrangeas and some roses because I like the variation of the uh, leaf. working with the orchids. These are green cymbidiums. Uh, the stems of the cymbidiums are really uh, thick so um, because of the flowers it's just one long stem with the flowers attached around the, the stems I, I have to pick the longer stem to put in the center of the uh, arrangement so in that way I'm gonna be sure that they're gonna reach the oasis. And the medium and shorter stem is gonna be in the lower parts of the arrangement. Okay, this is gonna be the shorter stem that I'm gonna use with the um, cymbidium. So it's gonna be in the side because that's the uh, 
way that I'm gonna find and reach the oasis. Okay, now I have to use the leaf and I'm gonna use um, ferns. These ferns are really long, so don't be worried, you can remove the lower part of the of the little leaf of the fern, um, cut it and put it in, 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 in the way that you want, of the length that you need. So that's the last steps that I, I did for this arrangement. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you try at home and let me know how you did, if you like it or if you have any problem. Remember to like, share, comment and subscribe. Thank you so much.